Hi guys, what's up? Hello. Hey, hey Duncan. Hey. So this is uh, Benji and Strippen, the Rail Bros. So introduce yourselves, guys. Uh, Strippen, you go. Okay. Well, right, I'm Strippen. Uh, I'm the uh, I'm the creative force behind the Rail Bros. And this is Benji, and he's the uh, he's the technical mastermind behind the. Rest. Say hello, Benji. Hello. Hello. Okay, so you've been using a lot of railcraft instead of uh, buildcraft and industrial craft. I I understand. Yeah, we are. You could say we're the railcraft specialists. Um, yeah, we uh, we don't believe in pipes. We believe in uh, carts and wheels. Carts and wheels. So when other people transport things using pipes, you use like mine carts flying flying carts that we do um yeah and we don't like transporting goods safely either we believe uh more wild the better so as you can see over there a bit of risk is more exciting yeah of course so this is an oil pump but then what happens after the oil comes up um the oil is taken into a liquid load which loads it onto this mine cart here with a, a tank it's a tank mine cart and uh, it'll fill it and then send it all right, so that's like a chest minecart, but with a tank, so that you can fill it up with like any liquid, I guess, like yeah. lava or water or oil. Yeah. Cool. And then you've got it flying across this kind of gap and loading up those big tanks over there. It's very trial and error, um, our, our methods, but they do they do. Pay. Right. <laughs> Does it ever miss? No, no, no. It's um. No. Once it's on its set course, uh, it's all good. It's just getting it on the set course uh, can be troublesome. But um, not for us, obviously, because we're the rail bros. <laughs> okay, cool. So what's next? Right. Oh, well, uh, come, come take a look. Yeah. Okay, so over here... This, uh, this is sort of the uh, other end of the oil. All oh, right, and there's a liquid unload, and it loads the liquid through these pipes. It it just takes the liquid from the cart and puts it through these pipes into these tanks. Uh, it's underneath the track. Underneath the track is the liquid unloader. So just underneath this this boarding. Oh, okay. And then the wooden pipes are taking it out of that. Yeah, I mean the great thing about Railcraft is it's compatible with um, you know Buildcraft and other Tekken mods, so we can use the pipes and stuff to help yeah, yeah. out. Right. So the, couldn't you just put the, um, the the tanks next to the unloader? Uh, I mean, we tried that. We're not sure if that works. Uh, this is the best way. It's fast. All right, and you can put a filter in the unloader, so that's yeah. like to to do what? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so you, if you wanted, um, if you were bringing back oil and water, and you just wanted oil, you put oil in the filter, and uh, you don't need it. Oh, that's really useful. So what is this? This looks crazy. Oh my god. Well, this is the bread and butter of all railcraft. It's uh it's the coke ovens. Um I'll let Benji explain uh the finer detail. Uh right, so what you're looking at is a coke oven. It's a three by three by three block but with one hollow in the middle. And uh you can put coal or wood into it and it will make crystal oil which is uh what you use to make your rails later on okay and so you got coke coal here what's what's that in these chests um coke coal is a product a byproduct of uh the coal you put inside so it's actually like a, a super version of coal which uh we actually use to power our bigger machines yeah. um, oh, right. it's just it's just an extra product from producing uh, creosote oil which is good because these coke ovens actually don't use any fuel they just generate fuel so we're in a limitless unlimited supply oh really so they didn't actually use the coal that you put in them they do but no oh well yeah they do but they generate uh, a better fuel source oh, okay could you pipe that back into the coke oven or do you just keep putting coal in uh, we could pipe it back in um, but it's Easier to to get used get rid of our coal really. We got okay. too much. <laughs> so you've got one minecart taking what coal from the ovens. 
yeah, depending on the loader's position from the coke oven, uh, it will take a certain thing out. So if it's on the side, it will take out the uh, the coal coke, and if it's below, it will take out the crystal oil. Oh, okay. So like pipes. As you can see, yeah, yeah. there's a cheeky cart on the top there that's just dropping coal into the top of the ovens. Uh, just, just oh, I was wondering how the coal was getting in there. Yeah, yeah. so we've got we've got a little one over here. It just drops the coal. So in. you you put all your coal what in this chest here, and it comes and gets it and puts it yeah, into the coke. In ovens. in that one next to Benji there. Oh, okay, this one. Oh, and this is where this is Crusoe oil coming out. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty cool. So uh, let's let us show you what the creosote oil is actually used for. If you want to come over here. Okay. So this is a cart dispenser and uh, a detector uh, underneath the boarding rail, uh, which right. means that you don't need to press any buttons. Uh, if you press a button to get the cart out, um, and then the detector will detect you in the cart and it will shoot you off once you climb inside. Okay, so this this rail is like a powered rail, right? And then. Underneath that is a detector. A boarding rail. A boarding rail. What does a boarding yeah. rail do then? Pretty much. Uh, once powered, it will send you off in the direction that the arrow on it. Oh, okay. So it just launches your way. And then this this rail is a jump rail. This is a launcher rail. Yeah. Um, uh, if if I just chuck you my crowbar. Um, there we go. Uh, if you right click that launcher rail, you can set the. Uh, the altitude. Uh, don't adjust it, you will die. But um, yeah, so you can decide how far you want to launch yourself. Right. What's the max? Yeah, it's a it's an art. It's a fine art. The max is the. Cool, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna get on this thing. Yeah. Whee! Oh my god. And what you'll see That's when cool. you land is uh, some of the building blocks with uh, rail. And you can make pretty fine structures. Oh. Okay, so well, where do we where do we start here? We've got this weird thing here going up and down. Okay, this uh, this is a elevator rail, and when they're powered, they pull you up, and when they're not, they let you down. So. Oh right. So you can just go vertically up or down. Yeah. So it's basically a ladder for minecarts. Uh, really, really useful. Yeah, I can imagine. Jesus, that's cool as hell. So this is just, um, is this doing anything or is it just showing off the, the up and downies? Um, no, this is just, so just like a little demonstration of the uh, <laughs> okay. of the ladder rails really, a bit fancy. Um, if you come over here, we've just prepared, just um, obviously you can't make rails uh, how you normally make rails. Um, they've become quite complicated. So here we've just right. got some recipes for some basic rails that you'll need to learn um, if you want to get started in rail crossing. Okay, so this this block here, this is um, what is it? It's a a rolling machine. Yeah, it's like the crafting yes. table of rail. Okay, and you've got some things in here. So this is how you make wooden ties, creosote oil, and wooden slabs. Okay, and then to make standard rails, just iron like that. And then you put the wooden rail bed in the middle. What? How do you make the wooden rail bed? Uh, that's just four wooden ties in a square, uh, and that'll make okay. a rail bed. And then, so golden rails, it's gold and standard rails. And then you make a powered rail with them. There's actually quite a lot of use for gold in railcraft. Yeah. Um, what was once like useless is, is pretty useful, uh, and it costs a lot as well, so you'd be getting through a lot of iron and a lot of gold. Um, but yeah. it's worth And the... Launcher rail is quite expensive. You piston yeah. two blocks of iron. Christ. And a piston. Yeah, they're not they're not cheap. Um, but they are our pride and joy. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. Okay, so if you wanna plonk your minecart down, if you've got one. Oh wait, I'll give you one. Whereabouts? Oh, okay. Just on here. Uh, and when you hit that button, so you don't need it to be automatic. Uh, you'll go to. Okay, testing zone. Who's this guy? <laughs> Hi, I am Shin. It's Shin! Right, 
Well, as you know, you know, Shin's uh Shin's been trying to do a bit of a uh, bit of railcraft coverage and he's sort of given it a bad name, you know. He can't get those uh those mining bores working and he tried to blow up a house with TNT ineffectively. So uh, <laughs> for for purpose sakes we're gonna restore reputation. Um and we'll show you that a bit later. But if you wanna come over here, okay. we'll take you through all the different types of track um that are now available in Railcraft. Yeah, so uh, if we can start over here. Uh, this one is the control, which is uh, quite an odd one, but it allows you to do quite a lot. Um, it provides a minor speed boost, but the main thing is that when it's powered, it changes direction. So this will be in an infinite loop, like this. But if I oh. power it, change the power, it will stay. And they change. So will it... what... what made it go back before? See how the arrows on the ground are pointing to the left? Uh, it'll, it pushes it uh, ever so slightly to the left. Um, oh, I see. So so it's been boosted forward, but ever so slightly being pushed back each time. Yes, uh, and basically these are completely ineffective unless they're bunched up together like this. Um, right. And then sending the current through them changes the direction. So that's pretty much all they're used for. Okay, that's cool. So uh, then we'll move on over. Right, this one's pretty interesting actually. Uh, the gated, the one way gated rail is uh, another block which you can use, but this one's the gated rail. And uh, it places this whole gate as well as the uh, block, uh, the rail block. But when you turn it on and shoot something through it, it'll uh, open up from my and close by. Oh, oh, so do these detector rails or something? Uh, yeah. So once a redstone current passes through it, it'll let mine come. It's pretty handy for like getting in that farms without letting your animals. All oh, right. Huh. Right. Uh, this one's a bit simple, so we'll go. We'll do this. Um, this is the suspended rail, which means it can. Uh, it doesn't need a block underneath it. Yeah. In effect, but it can't go very far, so about two blocks. Okay, could be useful, I guess. How do you build it out, though, if it's um, if there's no block to build onto? You can you can either place a block and build on top of it and destroy the block, or you can you can sort of face the end of it and click it and it. All oh, right, you can kind of yeah, kind of get the face. If you if you put your crosshair towards the track, yeah, there's a small small gap that you can you can okay, attach cool. the next rail onto. All right. Uh, let me just check here. All right, this is the uh, this is quite a few types of rail in one. Uh, first, we'll talk about this one that I'm standing. It's a disembarking rail, which uh, kicks you out of the minecart when you land on it. It's just oh, right. yep. that's stripping. <laughs> so when he lands, he gets kicked. cool. <laughs> right, and uh, when I hit this this thing, this power, uh, it swaps this switch motor, which swaps this switch rail, which uh, changes the direction. So you can sort of control. Different junction. Can you activate that with uh, like a redstone detector or something? Yeah, you could activate that with anything. Anything Ooh. redstone. And uh, so now when I send it, it should go this way. And as you can see here, this is the uh, crossroads rail. Um, making rails cross over was impossible in vanilla Minecraft, so yeah. this is really handy for um, letting uh, carts just cross over. What um, happens if they crash, though? Um, well, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the basics of most of the. We've got this one here actually, which is pretty. Good. It sort of shows the boarding rails that we showed you earlier, but uh, there's another type that's quite. Similar. So this is the uh, holding rail, which can do either way. So it maintains the momentum of the car when it's activated again. It all. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. So what you can do is you, if you um, redstone these with signalers, uh, you can actually have a cart waiting uh, while another cart goes yeah. across, you know, a crossroads, and then you can send this cart on its way, which is maybe something we could show you at a later date. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Okay, uh, so over here is the priming rail, which is pretty. All right, and we've got a TNT cart. Yeah. So there's a, <laughs> there's a bit of TNT in a cart. 
Correct. And it's pointed directly at Shin. Well, you know, Shin couldn't really blow up that house in that video. He only managed to blow the ruddy doors off. So, we're going to show you how to really blow something up. Okay. Railbro style. Oh, yes. I kind of failed. Um, what? Uh, what? It's okay, it's okay. It's driven right. <laughs> oh, God. So, um, yeah, that... <laughs> That was awful. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> should we, should we, um, right, uh, right, I'll be having words with you later, Benji, about that, because, uh, cause, uh... Wait, no, no, the only problem, the only problem was, was your, was your TNT, my friend. I'm, I'm I, I, I won't hear another word about it. Right, anyway, moving on, let's, uh, let's move on. So, Launa, we were wondering if you could, um, test something for us. Um... Just, just a little track. Um, the last participant died, uh, but it's fine. Oh right. We fixed the kinks. We fixed the kinks. Um, you got a little helmet on there. Right. Uh, yeah. So we've been having this problem with uh, lodges, down there, as you can see, and we were wondering if you could help. Oh right. Those difficult bastards. Those bastards. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Well. Um, we was hoping you could actually uh, help us with our with our problem. You see, we're actually being monitored by the uh, the iron golems. Uh, we're not allowed to do anything per se. Um, but you you going through in a minecart should be fine, right? So I was wondering if you could just just ride this track for us. Is it safe? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I trust you guys. I trust you. Yeah. So I'll um. I put a cart down here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, um, don't worry too much about the signs. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not a big I'm deal. I'm pretty worried. No, don't be. Don't oh be. god. Um, okay. You ready? I'm ready. I think. I think I'm ready. Okay. Well, um. Do your we'll, worst. We'll see you. We'll see you back at at the end. Um. Oh god. Bye. Ah. What? Uh, oh god. <laughs> that kind of hurt. Uh. Yeah, those those certificates are definitely gone. Oh, big R just exploded. Oh God, where am I going? Oh, I can see TNT. Oh God, this isn't good. Whoa! Can, can you see him, Benji? Is he still alive? I'm alive, guys. Just. Oh, good. Good. Oh, good. Okay, I'm in the forest. I'm landing. I'm going. There's a skeleton. Oh God. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh. Through a tree. Oh god, this is really high. Ah! Yes! Oh, I'm underground, I'm underground. There's lava, I'm on fire. This isn't good. Guys, you set me on fire. Okay, I'm going up. There's glass, I'm underwater. This is mad. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Are you sure this is safe? Oh! I landed. I landed, oh my god. Whew. So we're back at the beginning. Oh, hi. I was just uh I was just starting our new project. Wow. What the hell are these? These are tunnel bores, yeah. And they're actually working. They're not crashing. Yeah they do. Feel free to right click it. Um you basically put rails and gravel inside and uh fuel. We use the uh the coke coal because it's extremely extremely good and um, yeah these guys will lay down tracks and gravel um, and they'll just keep going until they run out of fuel so yeah off they go that is insane I wouldn't stand in front of one personally what happens to all the blocks they dig they uh, they get destroyed they don't get destroyed they get dropped they get chucked on the ground so you can trail behind and pick them up Oh right, you can't have, can't you have anything uh, to pick them up? At this point in time, no. Um, I think they're looking into getting carts that follow, and just collect the stuff. So it'd be awesome. <laughs> they're quite slow, but I guess they'll just dig through anything. Oh yeah, yeah, they dig through absolutely anything. Uh, except oh, yeah. for marble. Except for marble. Yeah, that's just a that's just a confliction though. So. That's... 
Should be fine. Oh, right. Yeah. These two on the left seem a little bit faster. Is that is that right or is it just like that? Yeah, if you right click on it, you can see the head of the boar, which is a. Uh, on these two, it's diamond, and that goes uh... a bit faster, I think, and a lot further. Like, a lot. Further. You could probably skip in front of them if you want and, like, take a look what they look like. But you'll probably get. A bit dark. Let's just put my brightness up. Oh, it's already up, okay. Uh, so, where, are the, oh god, that's gonna be scary going, going through. <laughs> you can see the smoke coming out of the ground up here. <laughs> oh yeah, look, yeah. Yeah, but don't miss about those, uh, those tunnel balls. Uh, yeah, this um, is awesome. How do, I want to dig down and see them come, come okay. at me. I'm gonna go back here. Um, it should be about right there. <laughs> oh god, there it is! Oh god. <laughs> wow. That's terrifying. What's, am I going to die? Uh, you might die. Here? In in a word, yeah. <laughs> Slowly. A very slow and painful death. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's getting closer. <laughs> oh, ow, ow! Ah, I'm getting drilled! <laughs> God, let me out! Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, we did warn you. I think I'm okay. We did warn I'm you. okay. I'm half a heart. You're stuck between the tunnel balls. <laughs> Here we come. Get, come on, buddy. Out you get. Oh, oh, I'm out. Oh, he's, he's made his own way. Well, uh, but yeah, well, they're off. They're off on a mission. So now you can, you can follow these things, and they're like. There's rails now behind them. Tons of dirt. Yeah, and if it approaches something where it's got an area beneath tank strip, <laughs> it places the gravel so it can uh, go over gap, but not ravines. It'll stop it. Wow. So yeah, off they go. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. So um, we'd love to show you like signals and stuff sometimes. So let us know if you wanna, you wanna know any more advanced rail. Yeah, sure. Stuff. We'll, we'll do another rail bros part two. At some point. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for showing me your your awesome stuff. Bye. See you. Bye, Duncan. I'm I'm actually amazed he lived, Benji.